the Miami Dolphins decided to stick with Tua Tungavailoa for at least the 2022 season and many think it is a mistake. It isn't. It's smart. Deshaun Watson is a member of the Browns. Russell Wilson is now in Denver. Tom Brady is back with the Bucks. Carson Wentz is in Washington. And we are still waiting to see what happens next with Jordan Love, Jimmy Garoppolo, Matt Ryan, and Bake Mayfield. In January we predicted that there wouldn't be much movement on the NFL quarterback market. We, well, I, was wrong about that but I was right that the Dolphins would stick with Tungavailoa. Alabama Tungavailoa was flashy and shiny and was the can't-miss prospect that everyone was talking up. Then he was injured and almost everyone immediately turned on him. He is too small, doesn't have the big NFL gun for an arm. He isn't a leader. It goes on and on and on. Maybe they were right. I wasn't a fan of Alabama Tua. Wasn't a fan of drafting him at 5 over Herbert. Yes, I am on record over two years ago talking up Herbert and Burrow over Tua. But Tua is the Dolphins quarterback and I support him until he is not. All that being said, the Dolphins were smart to keep Tua this year and take a pass on Watson in the other quarterback. We didn't see much in Tua's rookie season. He was coming off a big injury and didn't play with physical confidence. In 2021, he was knocked out for four weeks thanks to Jesse Davis. Without Tua behind center, the Dolphins lost four in a row and it was during this time that the whole trade for Watson drama started. Tua returned against the Jaguars and lost on a last-second field goal after he led the team to a late fourth-quarter lead. A week later, he led another fourth-quarter drive to take the lead only to lose on a last-second field goal against the Falcons. Miami was whipped by the Bills and then Tua sat out against the Texans with a hand injury. He returned a week later taking over in the fourth quarter for Jacoby Brissett and led the Dolphins to a huge win that really sparked the seven-game streak. There is talent in Tua and yes, the lack of an offensive line and running game hasn't helped. The Dolphins have done little to help him and yet he has still found a way to win. He has had bad games, all quarterback do, even Brady, Watson, and Rodgers. Miami is not investing their future in Tua Tungavailoa, they already did that. They are giving him a chance. They are giving him another year. Passing on Watson isn't going to be something we regret. Mark it down, copy and throw it in my face two years from now. The Browns will not be thanking their lucky stars for this trade. Will Tua be around in Miami two years from now? Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. What I do know is that there is a lot about Tua that can win football games and not lose them. He isn't the player that will shoulder a team and carry them but he isn't a slouch either. He can win football games for the Dolphins. The question is will he win enough? Can this coaching staff with Daryl Bevel as quarterback coach make him better? We will see. And if he doesn't, the Dolphins will draft another one and move on. I'm not a Tua superfan, and I won't live and die on that sword but I also know I have seen enough to know that there is a lot more to his game than what we have seen and I want to see if he can reach that potential.